Good morning. Thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady and I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories for Wednesday. Some Colorado district attorneys are expressing concerns over the governor's reduced sentence for Rogel Aguilera Medeiros. He was the truck driver who was initially sentenced to 110 years in prison for causing a deadly crash on I-70 back in 2019. But Governor Polis reduced the term to 10 years. In a letter to the governor, district attorneys Michael Doherty and Daniel Rubenstein called the governor's actions unprecedented because the sentence was already under reconsideration and set for a hearing. The governor's office is defending his actions, telling Denver 7 Governor Polis is a problem solver. And when he saw a problem like a bizarre 110 year sentence that undermined confidence in our criminal justice system, he used his legal authority to step in and fix it. The Children's Museum of Denver is temporarily closing and not because of staffing shortages. The museum says it will be closed today through February 4th because guests are taking out their anger about mask requirements on employees. While the museum is closed, employees will still work their regular hours and look at ways to change policies to better manage poor behavior from guests. Also, Denver city leaders are considering expanding homeless services. A committee will discuss a proposal today to give another $3.9 million to the group managing safe outdoor spaces. In return, the Colorado Village Collaborative will provide at least four safe outdoor sites and the amenities and services to support them through the end of the year. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. Well, after a nice day of snow yesterday, skies are clearing out. We still have a little snow across the southeastern corner of the state this morning, but we are in for a lot of sunshine today. It's going to be a beautiful day, quite a bit warmer too. Early this morning, chilly, you're stepping out the door to single digits and teens. It's going to feel more like zero in spot, uh, some spots, especially up and through the mountains. Highs, though, this afternoon are going to be right around 40 degrees, upper 30s to low 40s here along the front range, 20s to low 30s in the mountains. More snow is on the way. Now this next round is going to be quite a bit lighter, but we are expecting late tonight into early tomorrow morning, a chance for some light snow and then much warmer and drier this coming weekend.